In this video, I'll be showing you how to do linear regression analysis using Google Sheets. So I've already set up a sheet that has the data that I want to analyze. Uh, we're looking at number of coins and the mass that they have. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that data. And then I'm going to go to Insert Chart. Now in this case, I don't want to make a bar graph, so I need to change this. So if I just go up here under chart type, the kind that I want to use is a scatter plot or scatter. Now I have some other things that I want to display here. So I'm going to go to customize in my chart editor. Now, if you lose the chart editor, if you double click, double left click on the chart, the chart editor will come back. Now here, I've already pre-populated uh, a title, but you can certainly go in and edit your chart title. If you want to do any editing of your axes titles, you can do this here too. We want to go ahead and add in the line of best fit for the linear regression analysis. You'll find that under series right here. I'm going to scroll down and I want to add a trend line. If I scroll down a little bit further, I will select my label, use equation is what we want. We also want to show this, the R squared value. Okay, that's really telling us how well do our data points fit to our line of best fit. In this case, with a value of 0 0.999, it's a very good fit. I'm going to go ahead and move my equation. I don't really want it at the top of the graph there. I'll go ahead and put it over on the right so I can see that showing up over here now. Okay, sometimes in Google Sheets you can get some errors uh, that produce some things that look kind of weird and I want to show you what's going on, uh, why those things might happen. So if I go ahead and click on my chart here and bring the chart editor back, if I go to horizontal axis, every once in a while this box gets checked. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and check it now. This equation is correct, but if I check on this box, you can see it's going to change the appearance of my graph. It didn't change my equation, uh, so it's actually okay. The reason for this is really kind of interesting, all right? Um, it's uh, because I put this zero here. Watch what happens to my equation if I take away this zero. So you can see if I do that, all of a sudden now, my intercept point is really wrong, right? It's still the same slope, but it's telling me the intercept is 2.76. That's really not correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the zero back in here. That's gonna, again, fix my, um, fix my equation. It's fixing the intercept point. Going back to chart editor, Again, this shows up under horizontal axis, under customize, horizontal axis. Now, if I uncheck that, I can change the appearance of my graph. So it's really, um, you know, up to me to make sure, you know, that I'm making the graph the way that I want it to look. Uh, but if you find in Google Sheets that you're seeing an intercept that really doesn't match your data, please check under horizontal axis and look at this box right here. Um, so I've shown you a couple of different ways that you can fix that issue. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful.